Hi everyone and welcome to the Morning Report with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. Um, the handover that we've had from the Asian trading has been fairly um, fairly middle of the road actually. Um, you actually saw a Wall Street all-time high once again with the S&P 500 pushing up to a, another all-time high. Um, gains in Asia across the board pretty much but not huge amount of gains and um, that has actually moved into the European trading hours with a fairly cautious opening. Um, the issues are, I think that um, uh, need to be considered are the fact that uh, Wall Street has been fairly low on volumes but also you've got Treasury yields which remain anchored around about 2.51% on the 10 year and you've also got um, the VIX volatility index at uh, a 14 month low um, so it does suggest perhaps a little bit of caution should be uh, taken with these equity markets at the moment uh, in terms of uh, in terms of forex trading, there's also a slight move in towards safe haven currencies today, uh, with the yen um, performing strongly. Also, the dollar making gains against um, sterling, Aussie dollar, and Kiwi dollar as well. So that's um, generally what we've seen today, and a little bit of support has come in from for the gold price following on from yesterday's decline. Um, in terms of the uh, the as I said, the VIX index, this is the chart of the VIX that we can see here. This shows that um, we're actually back to the lowest level since March 2013. March 2013. And um, it just suggests that perhaps investors are getting a little bit complacent once again on this uh, on this S&P 500. So again, I said, as I said, caution needs to be taken, I think, with that in mind. Uh, in terms of the dollar index, we're still we're again back up and challenging these um, these highs of, uh, of the last couple of months around about 80 spot four um, 80 spot four seven is uh, is that April high and that that would suggest that there is a big that there is a big resistance around this sort of level for the dollar so again uh, we need to be uh, thinking about that when we're looking at our currency trades um, but in terms of economic to d uh, data that we're looking out for today, there's not a huge amount going on. Uh, we've just had the uh, German unemployment data. That's come out bang in line at 6.7%. Um, and you've also got the Eurozone confidence data, and that comes out at 10 o'clock UK time. Uh, forecast to be uh, negative at 7.1. Uh, in terms of our chart of the day, we're looking at the Aussie dollar. And the Aussie dollar has, um, in the last few days actually, um, this uh, Aussie dollar has once again formed support around about that 92 big figure mark, um, which also comes in around where that neckline support of that big base pattern is as well um, from uh, that three month uh, head and shoulders reversal base pattern that actually gives us an implied target of just over 95. 95.15 is um, pretty much uh, the target there so um, there are still there is still room to the upside on this and uh, we've seen this nice support come in around 92 big figure once again over the last couple of days. Um, these momentum indicators also suggest certainly with this um, crossover buy signal on the stochastics uh, not yet confirmed by a move back above the 20 mark but uh, we'll wait and see if that happens but also you've got the MACD lines that have, uh, are beginning to turn up again around neutral as well um, in terms of the intraday chart uh, you do actually have also uh, in place over the last few days a, uh, a, a move which suggests that uh, there's a little bit of a base reversal possibly going on on the intraday hourly chart um, with a move above 92.70 um, that would confirm that move, um, that base pattern uh, and that would also uh, imply a move back towards this um, 93.60 area as well so um, just around about there so it would be interesting to see certainly if we did get that uh, reversal then um, you've also got this pivot level that comes in around 93.20 which historically uh, shows quite well on the intraday chart that um, it has acted as a pivot uh, on through the um, through the previous uh, months to six weeks, uh, very strongly on this um, Aussie dollar chart. So that's uh, what we've got today. And um, in terms of, I mean, the, the very early European trading, the Aussie dollar fell away, um, and uh, it is this could actually now be a, a little bit of a buying opportunity. I think intraday. 
um, basis because we're still above this support around 90, um, 92.30 um, and uh, that um, has been a support over the last few days so it could actually be a nice little buying opportunity the key lows come in around about 92 um, 9205 for the uh, low on the 21st but then uh, 92 big figure as I said earlier is the big um, support band around on Aussie dollar so uh, that's my outlook on Aussie dollar I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later thank you